and we are in fact rolling hello and welcome back to another episode of pyre uh last episode we were informed that there's a traitor in our midst at least that's what the voice told us and he seems like a troll so i don't know but we figured out it might be rookie because he's like dog lando carissian but we'll see about that he missed the mustache <laughs> huh. Yeah, but it's th that is a possibility that we both like least. Yeah, I mean, it can't be Rookie, right? Yeah, I, I hope not. Uh, Walford wants to participate in the rides again. Yeah, <coughs> he's kind of like the the old sportsman and like hey, I still got it. I just need to train a bit. Yeah, uh, and Falcon Ron has squeeze himself on board. Yeah, himself and some, some eldritch artifacts. And dad. And dad. <laughs> I want to keep his dad. I want his dad on the team. <laughs> Falcon oh, nice. We welcome him, ab him aboard forever. I mean, he's, he's where we are anyway, so... After what felt like an interminable trip during which Falcon Ron does not e does not even once cease to speak for of matters relevant only to him, <laughs> you reach your destination. Anything? A traveling sales creature and pro <laughs> proprietor of the downside slog market. Sales creature. <laughs> Indeed. Anyway, thanks guys. And remember what I said, these things I got here, you got dips on them. If you come visit me and dad, that is now we will be going. So I'll be seeing you, okay? Of course, Ron. Whether from Falcon Ron's ceaseless drivel or the ill effects of his cargo, everyone is left feeling out of sorts. Ugh. Oh Jesus, that's not good. Yeah, let's yeah, try, we'll not, try to not to think about Minus five glory, come on, man! Uh, uh, ne never take on board your chances. Alright. Nobody wants to talk for a change. Yeah, let's go shopping. Let's check oh, out the slug market. Hey guys, thanks again for helping me and dad back there. We are really all you want. And so as promised, I've got something really, really good in stock for you right here. Every time we are, we visit the fucking pit of Steve, we get a debuff. Yeah. Bertrude's like, I got you covered. And then Ron's like, fuck you suckers. <laughs> he pauses for a dramatic effect then. He reveals to you several artifacts, Black Hoof, Black oh. Heart, and Black Claw. I see. During my practice sessions I saw those things and they're all like, yeah, they're cursed items. So they each have incredible uh. powerful effects, but yeah, yeah. also uh, the, the fucking uh, downside. So the Black Hoof, it's a cursed talisman. The bearer has 100% more stamina than usual but cannot grasp the orb. One of three scattered remnants of a thrice cursed demon who roamed the downside in state of in a state of madness. So someone just fucking disassembled him. <laughs> this is someone cut out his heart. Uh, the black heart. After getting banished, bearer either returns with unlimited stamina or as a fast moving howler. Uh, okay. One of the uh, yeah we all got that. The black claw. The bearer's aura remains while grasping the orb but cannot be kept. This is, this is quite powerful, actually. Hmm. Yeah, it sucks. So the only one who could actually use it to full effect would be Rookie. And his aura is not so great anyway. <laughs> at least, yeah. at least uh, in regards of our illustrious <coughs> team. They emanate with energy that cannot possi <coughs> possibly be completely healthy. <laughs> Nice, huh? You guys, you got first dips on these bad boys, and I can tell you what, they're going to go fast. I don't think so, man, but yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, they're cheap. Yeah. Surprise. <laughs> okay, they're cursed, but... Proceed. Um, so yeah, let's not buy the cursed things for now. The only interesting one is actually this, I guess. I mean, I don't know what a fast-moving howler means. So, anything else? Stuff. Right 
red light. <laughs> nice. Yes, it's like if you rank them up to 20, they are all incredibly good, but um, I think. What was Ashen Cole? Oh, yeah. That, that's like, I think, plus 35 at max rank, which is a lot. But. All right, he has no drugs, sadly. <laughs> Shame. So we return. You guys have a good day out there. You too, Ron. And so let's commence the ride. I <coughs> really hope I don't fuck this up. Yeah, everything is prepared, and night is just beginning to take hold above the darkest corners of the pit of Skeef, and Walfred gets your attention. Yes, well, it was a <coughs> reader. I suppose you might remember our first meeting with that manly Tinderstauf. You would be mortified, of course, if you forgot. <laughs> Let's forget. <sighs> I would say that he is an embarrassment to my kind, but unfortunately, I've known many others like him. We are a disconnected people, I suppose. Discontented. What? Discontented. Oh, what did I say? Disconnected. Oh, well, <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway, <laughs> when last we saw him, you might recall that I avoided him. We are not good acquaintances or anything, but he knows enough people in high places that he could be harmful to our plan, should he know of my involvement, and so... Wolf dons his ritual mask. I shall have to be discreet here, as I am with the Nightwings once again. I can no longer hide from him outright. Perhaps, though, he shall take me for a common sap. Get a summary, please. Anyhow, it seems to me we have a right to conduct. That is never going to work. Yeah, I, I mean, <coughs> come on, how many saps are down here? Uh, all right, we got a new space monster. It's Blanthius. Bialanthius. Your adversaries each share the additional five the glory damage to your pyre. No, this is no. And how about no? Yeah, I absolutely don't want that. Um, all right, they're all deactivated, right? Yeah. Good. And let's conduct this ride and see how it goes. Warfare Tender is a powerful defensive raising your rights and can spawn an invulnerable sapling with its own defensive aura. Reader, yeah. or should I Oops. say, deceiver. Fuck you, oh, man! Come on! Another exile in your ranks. The exile Volfred Sandalwood himself. Yes, <laughs> asshole. <laughs> I ought to have known he was behind all this. Behind all what? He has no love for our sacred tradition. Yet you would heed his poisoned words over my <clears throat> own. Well. I thought that we were friends. Aww. What? Then fine. <laughs> Let us return to a more formal distance. At least he acknowledges that we prefer his poison words over his poison words. Yeah, okay. all right. So I guess he really meant Wolfred. Yeah, that's kind kind of blatant now, right? I mean, yeah. there was no need to go like all hush hush and cloak and dagger. Well, my my, what have? Oh, 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 he's without mask. I'm sorry. My my, what have we here? Why, the Night Wings come to grace us with their presence once again. You seek, you think that you can simply cut us down like last time? Is that it? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, that was the idea. You sense Walfred reaching out to you. Yes, Walfred, what is it? Reader, let us indulge him for the time. Perhaps he shall reveal something we can use to provide a distinct, disin. Shit, this incentive for this meddling, for his meddling. Just let him keep on talking. I shall attempt to remain hidden. <laughs> and my, the colors of those raiments, I mean, they are rather gaudy in this light, I have to say. Though, I mean no offense at this, of course. So, do you suppose the ride is going to commence soon? As much as I enjoy our chats like this, I do have to get going soon. If you must know why, I am expecting an important message from the other side, no less. Come down. I hear something is brewing out there, some sort of unrest. Hmm? So, yes, it's a very important message. 
sent all this way by one of those imp couriers and I must say those little things, their services are certainly not cheap. Though I am sure that I could get you a good deal on their services if you wish, perhaps, to contact as contact a loved one back home, hmm? All I ask of- Jesus man, why do these trees talk so much? <laughs> All I ask, of course, is that you stand aside and let the chastity prevail, as well we ought, for I've a date with destiny not long from now upon the fall of Solian. He continues talking for some time until at last the right is set to start. Oh my god, sleep Debo. Alright, let's do this. No! Go away! <laughs> no! Please don't! I don't want to play with you! <laughs> Oh, God. Rita, my girl, let us confer a moment here. I am returned now to the rites, a tradition that I had at once disavowed. Yes, keep it that way, please. And now that I've donned the raiments, the voice knows I am here. Yeah, thanks. It is no matter, really, for our plans well in motion. All that remains for us is to prevail. I shall aid you and the others in this task as best I can. Yeah, you are level fucking zero. Let us see now whether these old limbs of mine are still of any use. Uh, can we not? <sighs> and there he is at last. <laughs> alive and well. I know that you can hear me, Sandalwood. <laughs> You're causing quite a stir out in the Commonwealth. You plant your little seeds of discontent. <laughs> know that your designs at sowing chaos shall not be tolerated here. Now, good evening to you. That's that's a line from a song. I think it's um. Shit, what are they called? The the, the guy who did uh, Family Tree Branches. Uh, fuck. Uh, shit, I have to look that up. Now I can't get it out of my head. Anyway. Yeah, aura shield, nice. It deflects auras. Woo, that's so cool. So it costs stamina. That's, he doesn't have an actual aura. This is kind of... Yeah. Woo, let's blink. Whip. 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 All right, you can blink four times in a row. And she's slow as fuck. Whoa. All right, let's plant a sapling. Berg. Oh, his main sapling is really So, so all right, he. All right, the, the aura is kind of slow. Uh, it needs to build up. Okay. All right, that's interesting. So you can like, okay, it's like instant cast it without aiming, and yeah, okay, that's probably neat. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I if I get this right. This is. Whew. No, the night wings. Are you impressed by my old man's sports displays? <laughs> I look forward to conducting with you all. If and when, of course, the reader calls for us to stand as a triumvirate together. Oh great, I don't have to pick him. Cool. I don't... I mean, there is a time for him, but... Oh ho, my, my. Look at this wonderful assembly of exiles come from all different corners, hmm? Such a colorful retinue you, you Nightwings have. You know, I heard the most preposterous rumor about you, that you are harboring an especially notorious criminal, one who has designs upon the Commonwealth itself. <laughs> he he looks right at Walford. No, that's just, just John McSapling. <laughs> but I could not imagine such, an out, such outlandish tales could possibly be true. Hmm. Anyhow. I so would like to meet everyone here. Hello, good Nightwings. I am H. Manly Tinderstauf, and truly, it is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Manly has intruded on your pri <laughs> privacy as you said to choosing your triumvirate. You could not be less welcomed. Mm -hmm. He seems to be searching for someone in your ranks. 
Ja, yeah, das kann ich. Ja, back off. Ja, das ist ein You warn Manly to back off immediately or there will be consequences he will not appreciate at all. He stares back, but you see something in his eyes. Oh, what do we see in his eyes? Why, I never. How dare you speak to me that way? <laughs> you lowly, crippled, ragged little churl? Is that like. A mix of curl, a g cur and girl? Well, <laughs> I have many friends who would make you miserable life so very, very worse. Oh, but this is so uncivilized, I have to say, so very disappointing. Anyway, I ought to go check on my wonderful colleagues. See you shortly and good luck. Mendel leaves at last, leaving you to focus on the <coughs> right again. Thank you. Choose quickly your triumvirate. Yeah. Could <laughs> So, right. Let's. Uh, no, you almost find wasn't what I'm looking for. Shit. Um. Oh, you curving. No, you get the fucking scale back because it's awesome. Wait. Yeah. Please. This is actually amazing. You can, like, jump across half the map. And, rookie, you will deal damage. Alright, we have glory penalty. So, let's go for Gilman first for an easy score. I want to see if I have this chance. Put that into turn and stunning claim. Yes, I need to remember to fucking sing it. <laughs> Sir Gilman. <coughs> Sir Gilman. I'm sorry, it's, it's been a long time. I need to check the. Um, yeah, that's good. Explosive temper. Yeah, that was a mistake actually. I don't know why I picked that. Um, yeah, he's good. And, of I, course... I think we picked that to get to something else? I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, that, that's that's possible, actually. L there's another skill in the left tree that's Lucky Break, and that means he has a 50% chance to just return when he's banished. And that's incredibly good. Nice. Uh, so, Bertrude has... Hex of Defeat and Wider Angle. She doesn't have Snapcast yet, I have to remember that. <laughs> but she has her Wall Hack, which is nice. So, yeah. That's Bertrude. Very well. I swear, that manly makes even my skin crawl. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, you cried, where are you at? Oh, Nightwings, I doubt you are. Sound good. Because my colleagues of the ah. chastity and I, we have a trick or two we think shall take you by surprise. Just watch. You are going to fucking cheat. <sighs> it's like, we don't need auras to kill you. Blam. <laughs> that was a Star Trek Discovery reference. If you watch the show, you know exactly what I mean. I already hate this. Yeah, fuck you. Ooh, that's not a lot of damage. Right, go. Oh yeah, that was the bumpy match. <coughs> okay. <laughs> Indeed he does. I just wish he would deal more damage. Alright, that's... Charming, this display, but quit it now and let old manly put an end to all of this before you make a terrible mistake. Oh, Wait, what are you what are you fucking that. talking about? Oh. Shit. He, he even jumps too far actually. <laughs> oh shit, that's not what I wanted. Oh ho indeed. <laughs> Yeah, alright, we'll keep going. That was indeed all of them. Shit, fuck! Oh, shit. Oh. Yeah, well. oh, shit, fuck. 
I, I love Bertrand's shotgun. <laughs> Unfortunate for the chastity. Yeah, well. Yeah, that was quick. The night wings that prevail. really was quick. See, if people don't cheat, this works. Failed to stop them. Perfect. He sounds a bit disappointed. Yeah, right. I wonder why. It's complete. <laughs> My word, how could this happen to me? You deceitful, ignorant, utterly uncouth pack of fools. Have you any idea what... Oh shit, he didn't have a mask on. What you've done. <laughs> Warford watches the outburst in silence. <laughs> Keep spouting off like that, manly. And you shall reveal all we need to know. <laughs> <laughs> you harbor such a fear within your heart. There, don't you? Coming from the aristocracy and now in exile, how they must speak of you! Wow, he's he's really up in his in his gear. It's, yeah. What would they think of you if you don't get out, or even if you do? Wolfit remains deep in thought, studying his adversary. <clears throat> there, I see, I see now. Wow, he mind hacks him. <laughs> <laughs> then Wolfit recedes into shadows. Are we sure he's not the villain? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm actually not sure. What? My head? Who? Oh, I I believe there must be some mistake. I have to go. Ta ta, fine evening to you now. It's been a pleasure, genuinely so. Mandy stumbles away in a stupor. Novetas. Oh, uh, <laughs> mind raped. Yeah. Positively so. And there he goes. I've lifted certain burdens from him for the time. A bit of mercy for his sake, for my people's sake. As well, it should ensure he has no lasting memory of our encounter here or running into me. Now let's be off before he catches up with us again and I have to eventually kill him. <laughs> the eight scribes bless us with their ways. No, Wolfred has, has like uh, inspiration for days. <laughs> yeah, as he should. Yeah. Until the stars align. Indeed. The Beyonders are a spectral triumvirate of one time assassins eternally expelled long ago for their crimes. Yeah, and, and about Wolfred and, and being the villain, <laughs> I, I'm not at all sure that he isn't. Yeah. I mean, um, I mean, he's a villain. Yeah. Kinda, sorta. Yeah, and, and uh, I, I, I'm not really sure he's telling us the truth. But anyway, back <coughs> to Blackwing, you are taking some time to recover after prevailing over the chastity in a decisive victory when Wolfred approaches. <laughs> the Nightwings are in capable hands these days, my girl. Thank you for your continued efforts, given all the challenges we face. The rides may be ending, but we still have time to achieve our plan. Especially if you continue to prevail like that. The plan! We are at 51%. Cool. So now the freedom and lives of all people are a coin flip. <laughs> Come, let's see whom we shall square against when the stars align. Yeah, let's do that. The, <coughs> the stars yet shine for you, revealing various paths forward. Let's gaze into the darkness of the night. Uh. Oh, that's convenient. That's also a lot of people. So let's see, the fate are still... Uh, making good progress so the pie hearts are basically out so we should take on the dissidents yep let's cool the, uh, where is it there? <coughs> punk rock curse <laughs> <laughs> ah. we are uh, gonna be butting heads against old barker again are we sister I guess it helps to know ahead of time so I can brush up on my groveling. 
Oh. <laughs> he then shares with you what he knows of your next opponent. Barker Ash Falls. Yeah, a volatile rich. curve is fact the dissidents conduct the rights more so for thrill than freedom. <laughs> That's good, so we don't have to have a bad conscience if we beat them. Yeah. Back on the other side, Barker never quite took the physical culture of the Commonwealth and often ran afoul of the law for various acts of foolishness or vandalism. I kinda like him. Yeah. He always promised to go straight, and in time he found a certain niche, for he was an accomplished hunter. Yeah, he looks the part. <laughs> Are those dog skulls? I... Might be, or cats? Well, at least they are, they are of course, metal. <laughs> uh, and the people of the Commonwealth did have an appetite. Barker relished the hunt more than anything, and spent his earnings on a variety of questionable things. Yeah, you can see that. One particularly raucous evening, Barker was caught relieving himself in the foot of the statue of the <laughs> Arch Justice and Robles IV. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! That was the end of his citizenship. Wow, well, he's, he's basically a folk hero. Jesus Christ. Arch you, Justice. You pissed once in the wrong spot. Yeah. And you're exiled. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it was the statue of the Arch Justice and Robles IV. The Grand Judge who, in 617 AS, issued a decree prohibiting literacy in answer to growing unrest. Those who violate the law of the Commonwealth face sentencing by the appointed Arch Justice. I mean, that's pretty fucking rock and roll. In the downside, it seems he caught the notice of the dissidents, who in turn must have observed, observed his speed, ferocity and fearlessness. He is now the best of them. Barker's reputation grew among the exiled curse of the Yomua Valley region, where he is feared and unafraid of taking what he wants. Okay. Uh, not long after they flushed me down, I was uh, just trying to make ends meet and made a deal with him. In hindsight, let's just say it was a bad idea. How could... He could make my life... Uh, shit, wait. He could make my life go real sour if he wants. Anyways, I better go pass out. <laughs> we got along... Uh, we got along a few days ahead. You will wish a repeat rest for evening in turn. It is too late to take flight, though tomorrow you can press on. And we will. Ah, more pages. Ah. <laughs> Why? Uh, let's read the page first. Yeah. The chastity. In the words of hope, the swallow, the accursed. Those bearing the name to the chastity all, all count themselves disciples of Luz Glorian. The Hundred Minds, known firstly for his wisdom, but also cherished for his modesty, integrity, and kinship. Yeah, well, good job projecting that, uh, manly. Sklorian's priority in forming his triumvirate was to instill in all his subjects a deep-seated deference and respect for the rules governing the liberation cycle. <clears throat> the cycle of the rights needs needs be respected to be understood, and needs, needs be understood to be respected, Sklorian said. Thus, the chastity are emissaries, emissaries of the cycle. <laughs> Should they earn back their liberty, then they shall spread enlightenment itself, and all of us shall grow. Like literally, because they are tree people. There are so many tree puns in this game. Yeah, really. Oh, I can't get, enough, can't get enough of those. And this delicious mushrooms and berries. Hey. Okay. Hey, Walfred. What's up? Hello, my girl. Jizo and I were just reminiscing old times. Hurrah! Which means Tizo is happy to have Wolfred back among the Nightwings once again. Yeah, I think. At least he is happy. When, when everyone. Uh, when we do like matches we lose anyway, I will pick like Tizo and uh, uh, Wolfred and maybe Tay. Just like people we, n we never play with. Though I heard everyone uses Tizo because he's overpowered as fuck. Yeah, but we are not everyone. No, we are definitely not. I mean, I like him, but yeah. Also, we, we don't have to cheese this game. <laughs> uh, thank you, Tizo. I'm happy to be back among the Nightwings as well. Though you understand why we were forced to be apart for so long, don't you? Scrahoom, which means Tizo indicates he understands full well. I trust that Tariq provided some good company and song during the intervening time. Squeak! Tizo confirms he did enjoy traveling alongside the lone minstrel for some time. And there he is, right on cue. <laughs> 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 uh, Mr. 
something I can do can do for you, Wolfred Senpai. <laughs> Wolfred laughs warmly, uh, warmly at this. As do we. <laughs> no, Tariq, we are well enough for now. Tizo and I were just remembering the time when we first met, the three of us. Tizo was rather apprehensive then, as I recall. So should we just leave? Are we interrupting something? Yeah, I, I kind of feel like that. Yeah, he was merely being circumspect, I'm sure. Tizo has the sharpest instinct of us all. And now they all laughed really heartily and we were just we were just shuffling awkwardly around <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, good one. <laughs> 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 But the bite he gave to you, sir, the senpai, I'm sorry, <laughs> it left a permanent impression, did it not? It did indeed. I consider the mark of friendship. May it stay with me for all my days. It's a good reminder that despite the challenges we faced together in the past, my time among the Nightwings has been extraordinary. <laughs> Likewise, I can say the same, senpai. Rakri, which means Tizo shares the sentiment as well. This is really me. Like, yeah, yeah, I, the reader, got friends too. It, it, rookie, come over. Oh shit, you passed out. <laughs> Wolfred turns to you. I should apologize, my girl. Yeah, you should. Here we are talking of a history you do not share. Believe me when I say we are skipping over many of the bad parts. What I mean is, it isn't my intention to exclude you, as we wax nostalgic. The Nightwings that you know, we are a strange assortment, are we not? Those of us who share some kinship from the past, I suppose we cannot help but seek some warmth in it. But it should not be to the exclusion of the friendship that we forge right now. Alright, nice dodge, Wolfred. Hmm. So please, why don't you just join us for a bit? Together, you, Wolfred, Tizo, and the Lon Minstrel talk a while about the uh, about the times gone by. Ah, oh, that's <laughs> sweet. The three of them are pleased to be back together in one another's company again, having drawn close through shared experience in the past. Just the same, they have welcomed you into the group. No, oh, let's drink moonshine <laughs> and do mushrooms. <laughs> in spite of the hardships you have faced, some of these idle moments that you share together may one day form memories to think back on with fondness. Soon the conversation winds down, though it lived with all your spirits for the while. Yeah, so where's the fucking bar? Hmm. The sands actually don't sing. <laughs> Alright. Um Good, we checked the book, we talked to people, we can continue our journey. Take off and leave this dreaded place. <clears throat> yeah, things looking good for that, but I like that. Hmm. So we got the blooming pool. Rookie expressed an interest in taking this road to the Ridge of Gold. Uh, okay, an interest. <laughs> and you sense that Tay may gain a deeper understanding of the rights along this route. Road. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think she's she's good in terms of inspiration because I think that's what it does. Yeah. So let's go with Rookie. And land. Yeah. After the cut. Uh, are we? Oh, we are. Yeah, we are. Yes, it's time for us to end the episode. And next episode, we repair the wagon wheel, which we didn't know was broken. So <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. Bye.